Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I hope all of you are fine and doing well. So the topic here that we are going to discuss today it is the chemical reactions of fluorides of the xenon. Before the start of its chemical reactions we guys must know that what are basically fluorides of the xenon. The known compounds of the xenon when it is going to be react with the fluorine it produces the fluorides of the xenon and here we have basically the three fluorides of the xenon in which the number one we have xenon difluoride the second one we have xenon tetrafluoride and the third one we have xenon hexafluoride so these are the basically three fluorides of the xenon they can be prepared by the direct interaction of the elements or the other hand they can also be prepared by other method but the preferred method is basically their direct combination so their method that we use for their preparation is their direct method or their direct combination now all that reaction that is completed basically the time taken is almost eight hours if they do not have their direct combination so let's have the simple preparation method for its production the number one is xenon when it is going to be react with the fluorine it produces xenon difluoride and when this xenon difluoride is going to be react with the fluorine again then it produces xenon tetrafluoride that is XEF4 and after this when this xenon tetrafluoride reacts with the fluorine again it produces the third one fluoride of the xenon which is XEF6 xenon hexafluoride now basically these three reactions are just used to prepare the fluorides and the main fraction or the main percentage in which we have just 95 percent of it is converted into the xenon tetrafluoride and then xenon hexafluoride and here at the end that xenon hexafluoride is just crystallized out in the solid form and it is a crystalline solid on the other hand it is also a colorless solid but a yellow in the liquid and gaseous form when it is present in the solid state it is colorless on the other hand it may turn to yellow when it is present in the liquid state or when it is present in the gas gaseous state now these three reactions are being used for the simple preparation of the fluorides of the xenon after this we have its main chemical properties the first one is basically the reduction with hydrogen so the main compound we have three the first one is xenon difluoride the second one we have xenon tetrafluoride and the third one we have xenon hexafluoride when they are going to be react with the hydrogen here the hydrogen will be in the gas form now after the reaction it produces its products and these products are as xenon that is common for the three processes along with it produces the acids hydrofluoric acid as HF and by balancing this we will gain this product and now the xenon that is produced it will be in the gaseous state on the other hand the hydrofluoric acid produced it is also in the gaseous physical state so the hydrogen that we have used over there it is also in the gaseous form and that compound that we have used fluoride of the xenon they all are present in the solid state so this is the first one chemical reaction that can be that can take place as the reduction with the hydrogen on the other hand the next reaction we have is with the mercury mercury it is basically a metal and it is the only metal which is present in the liquid state now how to react it with the mercury the compound which is 
xenon tetrafluoride it can react with the mercury and it produces the compound like xenon and mercuric fluoride as HgF2 which is present in the solid state and xenon is in the gas as it is a noble gas and here the mercury we use it is in the liquid state as it is non-metal it is a metal and xenon tetrafluoride which is in the solid state so the only xenon tetrafluoride it is a good fluorating agent that will provide the fluoride and can be used to prepare the metals by the simple chemical reactions so this is the reaction of the mercury with the xenon tetrafluoride after this we have its reaction with the ammonia ammonia is basically a gas whose formula is nh3 now we have again the xenon tetrafluoride its name is xenon has four fluorine atoms are attached to it so that's why its name is xenon tetrafluoride and it reacts with the ammonia whose formula is NH3 then it produces the compound xenon plus hydrofluoric acid as HF and plus nitrogen so by writing their physical states here it will be present in the solid state ammonia will be in the gaseous phase xenon is in the gaseous phase HF also in the gaseous state and here the nitrogen will also be in the form of gas so this is a simple reaction of with ammonia it is used to prepare hydrofluoric acid nitrogen as well as to gain the xenon and the last one is its reaction with the water that how do it react with the water here we have the xenon hexafluoride as it contains six fluorine atoms by reacting with the hydrogen water or H2O it produces as XCO F2 plus 2HF so when it is going to be react with the water it produces this compound which is containing xenon as well as called as xenon oxyfluoride this is the compound name as xenon oxy fluoride as it is very important compound that is being prepared by the reaction of the fluorine or xenon hexafluoride with the water it is in the solid state now the compound which is prepared being prepared over it will be in the aqueous form and hf it will be also in the aqueous form so this was a simple topic that we have discussed over there i hope you guys understand and if you have any query you may ask me about that in the comment section and i will get back to you guys soon the next topic that we will discuss it is the oxides of the xenon for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day